Here I am going to show how to create IEC 61850 file in Dixie5 with simple step. In Dixie5 all signal will be defaultly pre-assigned for IEC 61850 signals. So no need to add signal for IEC signals. Only we need to create IEC file. Before creating the IEC file, we have to make IEC names like IP, SNTB, etc. Now we see how to make this. Click the device information. On general, you can have the option IEC name. I am giving my bay name for that. You can give according to your signal list name. Next is edition. Here I choose IEC edition 1. Normally we will select edition 1 only. In some case we will choose edition 2. Next click on hardware and protocol. On that click on ethernet real port which will be on the base module. On below property over general information will be there. Over here we have to enter ethernet IP address, network protocol, network redundancy protocol. Here we have ring or line mode. We have to select according to your system redundancy. Next SNTP settings. You have to give two IPs over here main and slave. After making all these settings go for IEC station. Now click on IEC station folder it will expand. You can see add new station when you click on this the new station will be created now click the station now you can see two column available on the station first is available on device next is assigned to device when you open IEC station the available IEC configuration will be over here it will get automatically after making above steps next click export station this icon will be on the top of the available device column when you click that it will ask for creating a CD location you have to choose the location give name for your location now the IED system configuration will open but you cannot able to see the relay file over here since we did not assign that device. Now close the system configuration then go for assigning the IEC file to the device. We have to import to this device. But after assigning to device also, the import icon still on disable. To enable this, you have to open IEC system configuration one time. Now you can able to see the relay file over here in IEC system configuration then close it after closing you can able to import the file this icon will be enabled click the import file it will import to your device after importing file you can save it and update configuration to relay and export the CID file and you can use for remote monitoring like 
स्कैड आर पी एम एस एक्सेट्रा If you think it's useful for your friends you can share this video to them thank you for watching this video